my god. First video on my new camera. I am obsessed with the video quality. I love this camera so much. I thought because yesterday was the Super Bowl and I'm in like the sports kind of mood. The best thing and the best video to make for, you know, the season of sports, we got hockey going on, we got basketball going on, football just ended, baseball is about to start their spring training, that we would do a sports romance book recommendation. I read a ton of sports romance last year. I only read like two, one, two, three, three football ones and I read a ton of hockey ones. I have a few basketball romances that I've had friends that I've met off of like book talk and booktube that love these books. So I have not read 100% of these but I promise you that these are recommended by a lot of people and I wouldn't give you something that I didn't think you guys would like. So I think the best thing for us to do is just start because I don't need to just ramble on for no reason. The best books to start with is the Off Campus series by Elle Kennedy. These are hockey romances and they are all based at the same school, which is, what is the name of the school? Whatever. So they all go to college together and each book follows one boy on the hockey team. So there's like Garrett and there's Dean and there's John Logan and there's another one that's not coming to my brain, but they are so good. They're the perfect amount of like sports. They're the perfect amount of romance and like smut. And then they're also the perfect like emotional book. There are a lot of like emotional stories from each boy and it's very beautiful and I love that series so much. I read three of them last year. I still have two more to finish which I'm gonna finish this year and I am so obsessed. There's like the one night stand trope in one of them. There's a hard to get trope. I mean there's just like all the good ones. Like it, it's just I love love love. My favorite book in the series is The Mistake and the score. They're so good. I'm just, I'm obsessed with them on a daily basis. So we don't continue to just talk about hockey for a little while. I'm going to talk about one that my friend recommended and it is called Long Shot, which is a part of the Hoop series written by Kennedy Ryan. And this is a basketball romance series. So basically this book follows two characters that end up meeting at a bar. They kind of have some chemistry, but the main girl character is actually dating like the basketball star and she meets his like rival. So they have this night together where they spend a lot of good quality time and they think about it and they're like, oh my God, like that could have been something if we weren't like about to go in the NBA and also like with somebody else. Like, you know, she's already got a man, so that might be a little problem. And it kind of follows them. There's also a few more books in that series. Long Shot, which is the one I just told you about. And then Block Shot and Hook Shot. Those might be like the three main ones, but I heard that they're all good. And like, who doesn't love a little bit of a basketball romance? You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna move to the Lyndon Yu series. This is Dare You to Hate Me and Beg You to Trust Me. And these are both written by B. Celeste. This is a series, there's a third one out now as well. This one is a like childhood best friends like redemption, like they hate each other. It was like friends to enemies to lovers. And they end up going to the same college and she has no idea that he's gonna be there and she's in shock and he needs to know what happened to her. And there's like a lot of emotional stuff that's, you know, regarding it. And he is also like a star football player. So that's a good one. Then, so this one is about Skylar and Daniel. Daniel is one of the friends of... Aiden, which is the first guy character in the first book. So basically the main girl character in Beg You To Trust Me had a night where she ended up 
having relations and didn't really remember it. And so she's like scarred from it and she's got a lot of emotional baggage regarding it. And she meets Daniel and he's like a total flirt and kind of like brings her out of it a little bit. And she's totally obsessed with him, but she's got a lot going on. So it's kind of that and it's really good. It's really good. I really liked that one. I read that one last year and both those books were like really special to me anyways, but that one especially because it was very like emotional and I love when books do that. But those are two football romances. Then I have Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This is also a football romance and she's pretty, I mean, she's, she's thick. Basically in Say You Swear, there is a moment where I think her like first love comes back into her life and she also has somebody new coming into her life and it's a lot. I love, 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 love. Then just to wrap it up because like I'm not gonna like keep you here for 300 years. I read so many good hockey romances last year. I think for the whole year I read like 20, 15, like I read so many. So if I had to give you a few that I really liked from last year, I would say Mile High, which is the first book in the Windy City series by Liz Tom Ford, I loved. That is a hockey and his flight attendant. And then Weak Side, which is fake dating and forced proximity and enemies to lovers. And it was so good. And that one's written by SJ Sel Silvis. And then of course, I mean, how can we forget? The best kind of forever. Literally one of the best hockey romances I've ever read. And that one is a part of the Riverside Reapers series. And he is like the most patient human being on the planet that MMC is. And she kind of deals with body image issues. And he's just so loving and I love him very, very much. Okay, I'll just give you one more because we're here. The Puck Secret, which is a part of the Fairfield U series where he's texting this random girl that he doesn't know and it ends up actually being the main female character, but their families hate each other and they hate each other in real life. But at the same time, then they start kind of liking each other in real life. So he thinks he's talking to two different people. Anyways, my camera is literally about to die. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for sitting with me and kind of watching me ramble about a bunch of sports romances that I love. I don't have any baseball ones. If you know of any baseball ones, like please let me know because I don't really, I don't really follow baseball in real life. So I'm gonna see you guys next time. I love you.